welcome my Congress and the press. So they have kept this for so long, but there was no choice. Let me start by saying that uh, His Excellency the President and First Secretary of ZANPF, Comrade Haraji Mugabe, welcomed members of the Politburo and called the 309th ordinary session to order. His Excellency wished the meeting fruitful deliberations. Comrade Joseph Made, in his capacity as Minister of Agriculture, Mechanization and Irrigation Development, gave a comprehensive update on the state of agriculture in the country, encompassing crop and livestock assessment for the 2016-2017 season. Maize production is estimated at 2,155,526 metric tons from a total planted area of 1,875,297 hectares. Seed production that is <clears throat> maize and small grain is 2,443,119 metric tons against a serial requirement of 1,547,376 metric tons for human consumption. So you can see I do very well. Tobacco production is estimated at 206-212 million ki kilograms compared to 201-261 kgs in 2015-2016 season. Cotton production is estimated at 126 995 million kilograms compared to 32,885 million kilograms in 2015-2016 season. Soybean production is estimated at 35744 metric tons compared to 47832 metric tons in 2015-2016 season. Command wheat agriculture is underway and we are targeting 65,000 hectares. There's been a problem, of course, of pests and uh, diseases. For armyworm, and the armored crickets were the major pests in the 2016 to 2017 season. We also had a problem of flooding. Floods were experienced in parts of Mart North, Mart South, Midlands, and Mashingo provinces. Of concern, of course. It is important to note that 162 cattle, 331 goats, 20 donkeys, and 1,024 chicken, chickens died because of flooding. Livestock production, cattle herd decreased by 0.69% from 5,528,242 in 2016 to 
720 in 2017. Efforts are, of course, underway to increase the herd, and details will be given later on. And diseases associated with heavy rains were also a major challenge during this season. This included lumpy skin and foot rot and tick borne diseases. Comrade Walter Chidakwa, in his capacity as Minister of Mines and Mining Development, gave a comprehensive report on the state of mining in the country, covering gold, platinum, nickel, diamonds, etc. He highlighted performance of major mineral commodities and of course also highlighted the challenges. The challenges facing the mining sector include liquidity constraints, logistical, and that is of course high inland costs to move bulk materials are making our minerals uncompetitive on international markets. Despite these challenges, the mining sector remains one of the major economic mainstays of the country. The Secretary for Youth Affairs, Comrade Kuzanai Chipanga, gave a report on the Presidential Youth Interface Rally, which took place in Maroldera, March East, on 2nd June 2017. It was indeed a very thunderous and successful rally for those of you who witnessed it. The next Presidential Youth Interface meeting will be on Friday, 16th June 2017, at Sakuba Stadium, Motare in Manikaland, followed by Mashingo <coughs> on 30th June 2017. Other interface rallies will be announced as we go on. Comrade Kasukwere, the National Political Commissar, gave a commissariat report with reference mainly on recent by-elections, which were all thunderously won by ZANU-PF candidates. Restructuring of the party continues in all provinces. The party continues, of course, to grow from strength to strength. That's the end of my report.